In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals x squared take away 1 over x take away 2. OK, so the first thing to note is that the numerator can be factorised. Difference of two squares to x take away 1, x plus 1. And the denominator stays the same, x take away 2. OK, let's draw some axes. First of all, vertical asymptotes, that's when the denominator is 0. So that's when x equals 2. So let's draw an x equals 2. OK. Right, then, where is it crossing the x-axis? Now, that's when y is 0, when the numerator is 0. So that would be at 1 and minus 1. So 1 and minus 1. How about where it's crossing the y-axis? That's when x is 0. That's at minus 1 divided by minus 2, so at 1 half. Now, the, um, now, at this point, we would have been doing horizontal asymptotes, but now we're going to be looking for oblique asymptotes, OK? So the way to do that is I need to do polynomial division dividing x squared take away 1 divided by x minus 2. So x take away 2. So I need the x squared. x and x squared go x. x times minus 2 is minus 2x. Now, I don't have any uh, something x's there, so I need to add on 2x to knock them out here. x into 2x go 2. 2 lots of minus 2 is minus 4. I don't have minus 4, I've got minus 1, so I'm going to have to add on 3. So that's as far as I can go. So 3 is my remainder. So this is going to be equal to x plus 2 plus 3 over x minus 2. So the oblique asymptote is at y equals x plus 2. Right. Okay, so there's our y equals x plus 2, so that's at minus 2, and that's at positive 2. So you can clearly see that the curve must be doing this, okay? Now, we do, we should also check whether the curve crosses that oblique asymptote or not, much in the same way as we checked whether the curve crossed the horizontal asymptote, okay? So that must mean that we need to put the x squared take away 1 over x take away 2 equal to the y equals x plus 2. Because it would be where these two, the curve and that line, intersect. So if I multiply up by the x take away 2, I'm going to get uh, x squared take away 4. So then when I cancel x squared from both sides, I would get minus 1 is equal to minus 4, which of course isn't correct, okay? And so that must mean that the curve and the line do not intersect. So we know that it won't cross that uh, oblique asymptote. So it must be coming down, up from here, sorry, up from here, through 1, through half, through minus 1, and then tend towards that oblique asymptote. That wasn't a particularly good shape there. Something like that. Then for the top part, okay, in order to tend towards those two asymptotes, you must do something like that. Okay? And so that is the shape of the curve y equals x squared take away 1 over x take away 2.